hi guys we will see how to read csv in pyspark uh, i'm using this jupyter notebook where i have this virtual environment which contains all the required packages and i have installed spark locally so this particular code will find spark on my machine and uh, initiate it for me so this kind of code you will need if you want to use spark on your local machine now we will quickly start with what all the packages which are required we will need spark we will directly need a spark session object so i will import that spark session module uh, i have already created a spark context object so we can directly create a spark session object by using the spark context i have oh it says import okay okay so this spark context is already being created guys so we don't need to create it again now we'll start reading a csv file so whenever we read any file in spark it will return a spark data frame so we will return it in a variable for a data frame which is df then spark dot read is the functionality that we are going to achieve to read a csv file so we have to specify format csv and now we can load it and here we can provide a path so i have already a csv file sample.csv at input location it looks like this it has three columns id name country and 10 different rows uh, so we will try to ingest this file input sample.csv so we know that spark does lazy evaluation it doesn't really read it in this line it will create a DAC for actually running it once any action gets performed so action like show will actually trigger the DAC in background and then it will try to read it see it read the file successfully but if you see all three columns are read in a single column in a data frame so why that happened because it has pipe delimiter but in spark uh, if we if we are trying to read a csv the default delimiter is comma and our data doesn't contain comma so whatever delimiter we have we can provide it using the option on top of format so option is delimiter whatever delimiter i have which is pipe let's see yes so it can successfully read Three different columns and it already populated them as a spark data frame columns but if you observe closely the first line it's is quite weird and rest is data why that happened because our data contains first line as header but a spark doesn't really uh, read it as a column column names it took it as a data and it has a different auto generated column names so we actually need this as a column names because this is part of schema so if you want to tell spark that this file contains header so you just need to provide a boolean variable which is header true which will say yes the file first row is nothing but the header so now actually first line is the header and rest is data this is how we can read a csv file one more thing is sometimes if we are reading a file which contains uh, some different encoding and which needs to be provided uh, while we are reading so for that matter we have one more option which is encoding and you can specify like for now i am specifying utf8 but utf8 if you don't even provide it's a utf8 uh, for spark read but sometimes we may have european characters so at that time it may have a higher ascii and you may have to end up using the encoding which is iso 88591 or something else so whatever the encoding is for the file if you want to specify the correct encoding this is the option you have to use for now the data is quite uh, simple 
with the lower ASCIIs. So we can provide it or if we don't provide, doesn't really matter. So yes, we have correctly populated the data in data frame. So this is how we can read a CSV file using spark.read.format and there are a lot of options. If you want to explore more options, you can go to Spark official documentation page, especially in Spark uh, reader page where you will get, get to know what are the different options available to read CSV file other than the ones that we discussed. And also try these out. If you face any issues, we can discuss in comments and share this video. Happy learning. Let's data.